Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Building with B, the double O. Chubba, chubba, B double O. I, that was really nice. That was one of the first times that I have started an episode saying, welcome back, blah, 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 all that garbage. And been able to avoid having to clear my throat and having a bunch of freaking phlegm in there. That was a good feeling. So, last episode, well, you can see I've been doing some work up here, and it is looking nice. But last episode, small mini recap, as you know, uh, we have did the greenhouse over here, which I think worked out really, really well. I only got one person that was really freaking out, saying, <laughs> V-dubs, you might as well play modded at this point. You've... <laughs> Oh, which I think is hilarious. It's a texture. Might as well play modded. You go play modded. Um, so, uh, cow farm's growing nicely. Not really fast enough for my taste. I did expand my wheat farm. These are very vital in pieces of information. Hey, 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 hey. I forgot to parant that. Vital pieces of information that you need to know. Boop. There we go. Grow, my beauties. Did I put any bones in here? Yeah, I did. Not worth. Not worth right now. Uh, but anyway, I have been working on this area quite a bit. And... Some things that you may notice, uh, it's going to be really hard to tell because I've been doing some climbing. I removed the light colored specialty blocks from the sides because they weren't working for me anymore. They just knocked back. New snapshot came out, but I don't play until uh, it gets tested for several days. So, um, But yeah, somehow a sheep escaped. But yeah, so I've, I've kind of, I replaced that and made that brick. And I've added just a little bit of detail on some of the walkway areas. And what else? I made an area up there. And that'll be kind of like the private meeting hall for some of the, you know, specialty people of the area. Let's see if I can't stack up high enough to, to see, get a good look at how that looks. Because... If I went up there in the video, which maybe we'll do, we'll do, but I'll do it after a cut so you don't have to watch me go all the way up there. I uh, still can't see very well, but there's a little entrance way or exit there to go out onto this walkway, talk down to the people. Talk at them, not down to them. So that's pretty cool. I think that worked out okay. It's a little, uh, the detail, the thing that I'm messing with because I've been putting lots and lot I had a lot more detail in that and areas that have tons of detail really start standing out and looking strange that almost looks like a face if you squint your eyes doesn't it like an armored face which I will take it I like it I think it looks good hey oh he ha now my audio might be lagging behind a millisecond you'll never know I will tell you dirt Sand. Dirt. Sand. <laughs> See a fourth wall. That's your way to test whether I'm lagging or not. But anyway. Um, let's go up here. Okay. I worked on this quite a bit. Up here. And this is a nice walkway. Nice. We'll be able to use this quite a bit. And I don't know why I haven't yet. Uh, but for the more. I might. Who knows. I might replace most of this with this. The sandstone top with the bricks in intertwined. I think it looks really, really good. But I cleared all this out. Are we safe? We are safe. We are rarely safe in here. And you see there's a lot of really dark areas. It's kind of cool how the shadows kind of uh, make a pattern sometimes. Um, there's the area up there that I cleared out. I opened that up just so light would shine straight down. I was thinking it would be cool to have on every floor glass right there so you get natural sunlight on the inside and there could be like a cool fountain right here. But we're talking about putting the beacon up there and you have to have solid all the way through for that. So it's going to be one or the other. 
And I think the beacon will probably be the best choice. Um, but we've got this area here. Now, I, there was a lot of terrain. Probably, yeah, it was up to there. And I cleared all that out. And it came way out to this area here. Cleared all that out. That That's how I get all my resources out here. It's just destroying the land. But it, for good reason. So I then added this floor. Put this large floor in here. And uh, so what do you do with a space like this, right? We've been talking a lot. Well, it actually hasn't been lately, but uh, a little while ago, we talked a lot about interior design and stuff. And we're going to have a totally different task ahead of us for interior design of this pyramid. You can't just... One, one thing that uh, I've mentioned that Lynchy Inc. says is when you walk into a house... Don't have it just a wide open, huge space. You know, you could do that. You could put furnace area, kitchen, the the. But in a space like this, you really want to break it up, right? Nighttime's coming, so I got to go to sleep. But I don't want to close this all off. Like put blocks here and here and here, and then have a hallway going down. This is really this is the main entrance to the cat to the pyramid, and it has. A very epic feel to it. So I want to have just a big, long, very long entrance hall. Uh, with some pillars. Things like that. I think that would be a good look. I think it would. I don't think it would be ideal to just have a semi-small room here. I think it would be good to go straight into this big area with a large throne at the end. It would be beneficial to do it like that. When we go back to that pyramid, in just a second, we're going to get freaking lit. We're going to be destroyed. Oh, I might need to grab my shield. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Yeah, look at that. We waited too long. Shield? 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 Yes. Okay. Boom. Oh. Go up there. He can't get to me because he was burning. That's hilarious. Okay. Yes. Right click. Shield up. All right. I want to have... Once I get banners worked out for every area, I want to have shields for... Because uh, you can put a banner on top of a shield. I want to have shields for every area that I work in. I think that could be kind of cool. What? We're safe. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, so anyway, let me just lay out really quickly what I'm feeling. Uh, let's go maybe to here. And let's see what that size might end up looking like. This would be, and I might even need to go wider than this. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen wide's pretty good size. Pretty good. But the thing is, what I want to do is I want to have pillars. So maybe this is where the pillars will be at. So maybe we bring this over here. One, two, three. And we have it out at this length here. I think that would be good. Oh, yeah. Pickaxe. Do yo thing, baby. Do yo thing. Wait a second. No, that's too far. Did I go one, two, three? Mm, yes, that'll be fine. Because this will be pillars, then we'll have a three wide walk. One, two, three. Very good. Three wide walkway in between that. So that'll work out pretty nice, I think. I think this width will will be good for us. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice grand feeling right there. That feels very large, doesn't it? I think that's good. Working this out together as a team. Just some planning. Some off or some on camera a planning. Get this all in here, make it to the end, beautiful. But we're actually not gonna come to the end. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, because I'm thinking about other rooms and stuff, and I'm thinking about kind of how I want this to, to lay out. I think that's about right online. I don't, see we have this window pattern on the back. And these windows are cool, um, but 
there's this mountain here that, that I have no interest in clearing out on the backside. I think it adds a lot of nice detail. So there's no sense in putting windows right here. Um, so it kind of looks strange. You don't get a consistent pattern now. So I'm going to wall this off. And if we go, oh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. That should be good. And then we can go straight up into that. That looks like that works out perfect. So let's go up. One, two, three, four, five. Almost got it. Almost reached it. I'm sorry, not reached, roached. That's the proper terminology. Hello. Boom. Whoops. Did that wrong. Okay, get that down. Scoot out. Boom, boom, boom. That lines up perfectly. That's beautiful. This is working out pretty freaking nice, ain't it? Not bad. So we can have this huge uh, hall right to there. From all the way out there to there. And I think that's going to give a nice grand feeling. And then we'll have hallways and walkways to rooms around here. This will give us plenty of time, plenty of space to have either a hallway here on this side and rooms on that side, or a hallway here and rooms on this side. Uh, either way, it's going to work out pretty nice. So, I have some work to do. And I think, by the way, our ceiling will be right at this level right here. This will be our ceiling level, uh, because I need to have the floor there, because this indention here is a walkway. I've kind of filled some of the walkway in there. Uh, so we want people to be able to walk around the outside there. Uh, so anyway, hopefully you get the idea. Hopefully that makes some sense. I think we got a good thing going. Now it's time for me to build it all up. I think I'm going to stick with sandstone still. That's kind of the game plan. Stick with sandstone. I don't want to make the switch to stone. I think this is going to work out well for us. Ha 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 ha. See you fool. You spawn right in front of my eyes. All right, everybody. That'll do it for right now. I got a lot of work to do off camera. I'm going to get on it and I'll be back with you. I completed part of the pyramid. The interior part that we were just talking about. Hi. It's been a while for me. It's hard. You have to think outside. You have to think like you guys are seeing this a second ago. I, for me, it was like an hour or two ago, uh, but that doesn't matter. Let's go inside. Let's see what we got. We did some stuff, and it's not bad. It's a decent look. I'm going to have my sword ready just in case. Anybody? Yeah, there's a guy back down. There's a guy back down. Oh, dodge! Since when do you dodge? <laughs> Get crazy. Why are you crazy? Okay, so he was able to spawn there. Let's put some torches on this backside, I guess. Just to cover it up. Make sure that we don't get any freaking surprises. <clears throat> the surprises in here could be very, very, make a man very sad. Okay, that's decent. So, I was building this, and I built the pillars and all that first. I built the ground, I built the walls, and then I built the pillars. And after I built the pillars, I put some light in here, hidden lighting underneath them, because I don't want mobs spawning in here all the time. But when I did that, I lost my atmosphere. Everything looked very gross. Until, is my shadow, are my shadow, I think there's some lighting bugs, because when lighting updates like crazy, it gets kind of weird. Um... See how that, that doesn't look very smooth, that part right there. That's probably glitched, isn't it? Feels like it might be glitched darkness. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's some weird lighting stuff in this snapshot, but uh, another snapshot went up today, so maybe it's better. Weird, man. Lighting is weird. Now it's really broken. Okay, <laughs> let's just l try to live our lives. Um... But anyway, I think it looks good because once I close the roof in, yeah, that is weird. Once I close the roof in, we got our atmosphere back. It gave us a lot of shadows up in the ceiling area, which I like a lot. So here's where B-dubs make, make, make it a mess for himself. This is pretty cool. I like the way this looks, but I've been really trying to pay attention to ceilings. 
in buildings now. I think ceilings, when they're detailed, they give you more places to look. Right now, when you first look, walk in, you see this, you think, okay, cool, columns, uh, that's all nice. But then when you, you look at the ceiling, you okay, these glitches, these kind of suck. But you see some other things, and it's like, yeah, this ain't really anything, it's all right, you know. It doesn't do anything for you, it doesn't draw your eye or draw your attention. So, need to draw the attention. Not necessarily force you to look up to the roof, but give you another place as you're walking through. Another place to be like, yeah, yeah, that's nice. So we got to do that. We got to get that. I got, I have some ideas and some ways that I feel like we could uh, spice this thing up. But it's going to be a little more difficult than normal because I've been trying. I've been living my Minecraft life by the rule that most everything should be odd numbers if you build anything if there are spaces there should be three or five or seven or eleven i skipped nine uh but you know what i mean um this is odd this is odd and i think that is a very very good rule but i think you can get to a certain point where maybe you take it a little too far maybe you're maybe you're taking the odd rule too far and forcing it in this structure, that's, I think, where uh, it could have been the case. These pillars, for example, I did them too wide. Too. T-W-O. Wide. Because I think it's perfect for the scale. Now, we could have done one. I tried it. Didn't like it. Can't do three. That's too much. You could also do this. But that takes up a lot of space, especially if you're going to do an interesting base around it. So, too wide. So, when we try to tie these into the ceiling, we're going to have to do some detailing. That's too wide. Too wide. I heard a skeleton. I've been lighting areas up, so I really shouldn't. Maybe up on the ceiling up there. Um, but, that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. I also went too wide here. Too wide here. Too wide here. Because I'm following kind of a rule that, okay, these are too wide. So let's give that same gap in between. If your pillars, or your columns are even numbers, make the gaps even numbers. It's actually four wide, with not including the base. Um, and I think that gives the best look. That's why this has such a good feel to it, I think. If we made them three, it'd be too close, and those ones at the end would kind of start blending in together. If we made them five, it might be too far apart. I think this is perfect. It, it's kind of one of those artistic rules so with the columns I did it all even where we'll have some potential problems is if we want to do just a single door here then boy it's bright in there if we want to do a single door there it's going to be off center but thinking about it as I was building this I was like I don't care I really don't care if that's going to be off center that's not going to throw me or bother me it's just a hallway here it almost looks centered so, it, 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 you know, you're going to be walking by. It's not something that you walk straight down, you know? So the rules of evens and odds. I feel like in an entrance, when you're building a huge structure, an entire building, odd is good because you are going to want a center focal point, you know? Unless I was going to say the biggest, most important thing of this pyramid is going to be the throne when you walk in. And I'm building that throne too wide. Right? So if you were going to do a throne like that, then you're going to want the whole structure to be even numbers. You see what I mean? Makes sense? But I think we're going to be able to get away with an odd number throne. I do like the size of, a, of an even number throne. So keep that in mind if you're building your castle. Uh, we... Maybe uh, if the throne is going to be the focal point, do the throne first and then build around that. Uh, but anyway, so I have to get some detail in the ceiling. I would really like to detail out this floor. And I could do it like this. And I think I probably will, but I could do a carpet thing in here. I, I, but I, think, I don't think, I, I don't think I'm going to do a carpet thing in here. Um, you know that brown? It's kind of on the reddish side, but it's not bad. I could edit the brown t uh, 
carpet texture or rug texture. But then, you know, we don't want to just be playing modded. <laughs> beat up, be trolling. Beat up, be trolling. Um, I, I just haven't messed with brown, so I thought maybe we'd try to give it a shot and see if it does anything in here. It is pretty vibrant. It makes this gray stand out even more. Uh, so maybe I'll just go with the dark gray again, but maybe it's good. Yeah, it's pretty vibrant. Maybe a little too vibrant for here. Um, somebody did mention also last episode when I added the te glass textures, I have to be very careful because glass makes very nice smoke. Thank you for that comment. Um, yeah, I can't. They said don't edit the dark gray texture because it makes great smoke. And I think they're right. I have edited the light gray, which I do use in combination with the dark gray. Uh, so we're going to have some areas that might need some adjusting if I stay this route. But I think that just looks too good. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on this ceiling. I'm going to try to edit out this ceiling. I'm going to have to get my scaffolding back. And uh, we'll see. We'll also have an interesting thing to do here because the pyramid kind of comes in here. So I'll have to do something to help tie this all in and make this look good because it's kind of just wide open. Uh, I, I would like to find a way to include wood into this as well, but we'll see. So I'm going to get to work, and I'll see you in just a little bit. I have a pretty interesting ceiling going here now. I don't know if you're going to love it. You may, but you may not. And that's okay. You are you and I am me. Oh, Creeper King. You are the king of the castle, you think? You are wrong. B-dubs is king. So, I've added these bands. Uh, not all the way around, because I'm just kind of testing them. But I kind of like them. I kind of like that they add some strength. Like, they look a little stronger. They look kind of interesting. I, I like them a bit. Uh, I also... Uh, so, you see what I did to the ceiling, obviously. I added kind of this design to it. And I think I think it's all right. I think it's pretty good. Uh, it's basically a mixture of the brick, which stands out from the regular sandstone, and then half slabs up there as well. Uh, I think it definitely adds some depth and it gives a point to look at. It's not colorful, which I wasn't really going for. Um, but what I'd like to do after this is I'd like to kind of get in and do a little bit of a uh, go into... Uh, creative world and just because sometimes you forget like when you're building in creative that's the thing that I'm I like the best because you can go in and you can think okay what do I want to put up here here is my color scheme how do I make it work and you can thank you uh, you can get an idea of all the blocks available in the game which is nice I might make this brick, maybe, possibly, might be worth a try. I th This is kind of temporary at the moment, I'm not exactly sure, ooh, I don't have enough, whoops, oh, jeezer, okay, yes, I will have enough now, uh, yep, boop, got you, boy, all right, boom, Yeah, that could be good. We'll see. We will see. Um, I need to get some end stone. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. I need to get some end stone as well to kind of help. M I'm sorry, Mumbly McGee. Mix all this up. Um, but I put this little area here where the throne could potentially go. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm mainly having some frustration with the lighting in here. The lighting's acting really, really weird, and I was trying to cover that up, and that kind of disguises it a bit. But either way, we'll see. We'll see. This is just first draft numero uno. I actually will need to bring this out one. And let's see if I can't pull it off. I thought I had a bunch of slabs. Didn't I have a ton of slabs? There they are. Let's see if we can bring this out to, like... Four, five. Maybe that's a better look anyway. We'll see. But the benefit of ha of using slabs 
is that you can do something like this when you're when you're doing a throne and I'm just throwing red here because that's the color of the day for the moment uh, you can do something like that where you get a half of a wool block so it looks like a seat you know could be interesting I haven't even this is a little bit on the dangerous side because I haven't even messed with trying to do uh, this throne I'm just going on the fly here but I know I know I wanted it on half a shrabs Okay, that could be interesting. Um, for right now, let's just put that back there. Uh, stairs will be good. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that's very medieval looking. Very medieval, and it blends in. So, what about like a glass throne? Oh, that could be really, really cool. A glass throne. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, that could be sick. A glass throne could be sick. And here comes the moment in the episode where I either tease you and say, a glass throne, amazing. Let's do it next episode. Or... I go outside and I get some glass and we do it this episode. Let's do it this episode, shall we? Let's try at least. Let's see what our materials situation's looking like. Do I have any more food? Yes, I do. Fan freaking tastic. Okay. Blue glass. I'm thinking blue. Um, light gray. Get some of that. There's not enough of this. So give me this. That's regular glass, but that's not enough. One, two, I need two more. All right, excuse me, sir. One, and here comes my second one. And that should give us enough, I would imagine. Let's get the silk touch pick ready because we'll be potentially breaking some. Now this is, this is pros po possibly, possibly a crazy idea that's just not gonna work. Uh, but, 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 it could be good. I like the idea of having unique thrones that people all over talk about like the the wooden throne the uh of timberstone you know stuff like that it can be pretty cool uh okay oh yeah oh yes oh yes you could even be you could even be uh this Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow. Uh-huh. Oh wow. Oh, is that cool or what? Oh, I think that's pretty sick. I really like that a lot. Is that not sick? I love it. Hold up. Glass throne. We change the world today, everybody. We do it every day, don't we? We change the world every day. I know it's time to sleep, but I'm too... I'm in a groove right now. The glass throne. Because if glass is going to be some sort of export from here... Oh. Uh-uh. No. Not right now. B-Dubs is busy building... Oh, I like this idea. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you can pull something like that off. If you were just to do that and somebody was like, build a castle, uh, I want a throne, I want this and this and that, you couldn't do that. They would look at it and think, that's weird. But if you can put a story behind it... Struggle? Struggle much? Oh, no. We're okay. We're okay, everybody. Yeah, yeah, I almost just want to leave it just like that. Yeah, I think I'm leaving it. I think it's good. No reason to touch it at this point. It's just good as I touch it. Don't touch it, B-Dubs. Don't touch it. No, no, no. Don't touch it. It's good. Yeah. No. Nope. It's good the way it is. I love it. I might do 
like I said, pop into creative and just mess around with some potential other ideas. But that right there is amazing. Maybe some glowstone behind it to help it pop. A little mural behind it as well. But maybe maybe mural on the side. Let that stand on its own. That could be great. Okay, what other wool do I have on me? Because I'm not loving that wool in there. I think that that's, that's a color where you don't need color. Oh, come on, you know. You know we got to get this one too. Nobody's ever going to see it, but we will. We'll know it's there. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's good. We've done the Lord's work here today. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for today's episode, okay? I hope you really enjoyed it. Hope you got some ideas yourself. I'm going to call it for today. If you have any ideas uh, for this area and this world, let me know. I'm not done in here, but uh, yeah, let me know what you got. I think we did some good things. Love you to death, and we'll see you in the next episode.